Have you ever wondered about the plant that could potentially revolutionize the menstrual pad industry? Meet the sisal plant. The sisal plant is a fascinating specimen, a semi-perennial leaf fiber producing plant that thrives in some of the harshest conditions. It's a xerophytic plant, which means it's adapted to survive in dry environments. A look at its leaves gives away its secret to survival. They are thick, fleshy, and often covered with a waxy layer, characteristics that help it retain moisture and survive in arid conditions. These leaves are not just for show, though. They play a crucial role in the plant's utility. Each leaf of the sisal plant grows up to 2 meters long and over its lifespan of 7 to 10 years, the plant produces between 200 to 250 usable leaves. But what makes these leaves truly remarkable is the treasure they hold within. Each leaf contains about a thousand fibers. These fibers are tough yet versatile, and they can be used in a variety of ways. For centuries, people have known about the use of sisal fibers for making ropes. The fibers are strong and durable, making them ideal for this purpose, but that's not all. These fibers can also be transformed into paper and cloth, offering sustainable alternatives to traditional materials. However, the possibilities of the sisal plant don't stop at ropes, paper, and cloth. Recent research has unveiled another potential application for this versatile plant. The fibers of the sisal plant can be used to create a highly absorbent material. This could potentially revolutionize industries that rely on absorbent materials, such as the menstrual pad industry. Imagine a world where menstrual pads are not only more absorbent, but also more sustainable, thanks to the sisal plant. This plant, which thrives in some of the harshest conditions, could help make that world a reality. As you can see, the sisal plant is not just any plant, it's a plant of numerous possibilities. Now that we know what the sisal plant is, let's delve into the conditions it thrives in. This plant is a master of survival, perfectly adapted to arid environments. Being a xerophytic species, it's designed to conserve water, even in the harshest of climates. When it comes to temperature, the sisal plant is no shrinking violet. It's able to withstand extremes, thriving in conditions where the mercury soars to between 40 and 45 degrees Celsius. But it's not all about the heat. Equally important is the rainfall. The sisal plant prefers a steady shower, with evenly distributed rainfall of around 60 to 125 centimeters throughout the year. And what about the soil? Well, the sisal plant isn't too picky. Its ideal home is dry, permeable, sandy loam soil, especially those rich in liming materials like calcium and magnesium. These elements help the plant to grow strong and healthy, but don't worry if you don't have the perfect soil at hand. This hardy plant can also grow in various other types of soils, including light calcareous and gravelly soils, as long as they have good drainage. In India, the sisal plant has found a comfortable home in several regions. It's well adapted to states like Odisha, Jharkhand, Maharashtra, parts of Bihar, the western region of West Bengal, and many southern states. These areas provide the ideal conditions for the sisal plant to flourish, making them perfect for cultivation. So to sum things up, the sisal plant is a tough cookie. It thrives in arid environments, can handle extreme temperatures, loves a good shower, and is pretty flexible when it comes to soil. It's a plant that asks for little but gives a lot, providing us with valuable fibers that can be used in numerous ways. The sisal plant, with its resilience and adaptability, truly is a marvel of nature. But how does this incredible plant reproduce and ensure its survival? Well, the sisal plant has an interesting way of ensuring its lineage. It is propagated mainly by vegetative means, specifically using bulbils and suckers. Now, what does that mean? In the world of botany, a bulbil is a small bulb-like structure produced by the plant. In the case of the sisal plant, these bulbils are formed in the leaf axles and can be used for propagation. On the other hand, suckers are shoots that spring up from the base of the plant or from the underground parts of the stem. Sisal plants prolifically produce these suckers, which can be separated and replanted to produce new plants. So the sisal plant, in its own unique way, ensures its survival and propagation. It's a testament to the plant's resilience and adaptability. And that, dear listeners, is how the sisal plant continues its lineage. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. How is the sisal plant revolutionizing the menstrual pad industry? To answer that, we're going to delve into some groundbreaking research by a team at Stanford University. 
They've been studying the sisal plant's absorption capacity and have found that it's actually higher than those in commercial menstrual pads. This is a significant discovery as it could change the way we approach menstrual care. Imagine having a menstrual pad that's not only more efficient at absorbing but also more sustainable. That's the potential we're looking at with sisal-based material. Each sisal leaf contains about a thousand fibers and these fibers could be used to create a highly absorbent material. Now, let's compare this to the materials used in commercial menstrual pads. These are often made from synthetic materials which, while they are efficient at absorbing, are not biodegradable. They end up in landfills contributing to the global waste problem. But with the sisal plant, we have a natural sustainable alternative. Considering that a sisal plant can produce between 200 and 250 usable leaves in its lifespan of 7 to 10 years, there's a vast potential for sisal-based menstrual pads. Additionally, the sisal plant is well adapted to arid environments, making it a resilient and sustainable choice for cultivation. Its ability to withstand high temperatures and grow in a variety of soils means that it could be grown in many parts of the world, potentially making sisal-based menstrual pads a global solution. The sisal revolution in menstrual pads is more than just about creating a more efficient product. It's about finding sustainable solutions to everyday needs. It's about turning to nature and using what it provides in a responsible and innovative way. The sisal plant with its high absorption capacity could very well be the future of menstrual pads, making them more sustainable and effective.